Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go? Make sure you edit it now if I, stum if I stumble. Hey, thanks for joining us today on Live Music Nation Podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, we're with Michael. Michael, what's your last name? We we Weavers? We Weavers. We 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 My Everything in Michael's name is spelled differently. Michael Weavers from the Foundation of Arts Forum Theater. Michael, thanks for joining us. How are you? Just fine, sir. Thanks for having me. Good. Michael, where are you at today? Uh, we are in Jonesboro, Arkansas, uh, in the Forum Theater in downtown Jonesboro off uh, Monroe Street. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We're, uh, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up and how did you get in the position here at the, uh, at the theater? Well, I tell you, um, I grew up uh, here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Uh, I was in actually manufacturing for about 25 years. Um, and about three or four years ago, I said, you know what? I talked to my wife about making a, a career change. Yeah. I said, everything I, I said, everything I touch, I want to love. I don't care about the money anymore. Uh, it was hard for her to swallow that part. Well, of baby, I'm on it uh, with a bottle of wine and an old Joe Road. Are you ready to go? Love. If I have to work three or four jobs, uh, I really just want to be involved in something bigger than myself and, and just the daily grind. And I started just looking for, for opportunities. Uh, I started working for the college for a little bit, teaching some students. I uh, started doing some painting. I did learn how to frame artwork. I just uh, went in a different direction. And then the Foundation of Arts had an open position. I uh, come talk to these great people down here, and next thing you know, uh, I'm executive director of the FOA. Fantastic. Michael, you are the epitome of what everyone thinks in their mind that they want to do, and they don't have the bravery and the courage to do it. Fantastic. Tell yes, us a little sir. bit about the theater. Yeah, so this uh, this theater is it was built in 1926. So just a few more years, it'll be 100 years old. It started out as the Strand Theater. Uh, like I say, it opened up. Up by Universal Pictures. Uh, it's actually a Malco theater. Um, they did a lot of movies here. And then in 1978, uh, they did some reconstruction and became the Forum Theater. Uh, they took out, We currently we house about 650 uh, uh, people to come in. Uh, that's how many seats we have for shows. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a historic monument for downtown Jonesboro, and there's so many memories that have been made here. So, you know, it's and it's home to the Foundation of Arts. This is where our offices are. We have a, a dance studio across the street right here, but it, it's our home here in the theater. Fantastic. Tell us about some of the activities you have going on this year at the theater. Yeah, so the FOA puts on 12 to 14 main stage shows a year. Uh, along with that, we'll have uh, EES shows. I'm talking. We, we do. We do. Let's see. We do the Nutcracker every year. Uh, we're doing a Wonderful Life. We're doing Frozen Junior, uh, Camp Rock, Kinky Boots, West Side Story, Sister Act, The Music Man. Uh, it's a really a mini Broadway here in, in Jonesboro. Uh, but besides our mainstay shows, we have. Uh, uh, first Fridays events where we have musicians come in. Some of them are local, some of them are out of town, but we invite that we open that stage up for uh, the people who has always dreamed about playing on a big stage. Uh, yeah. We give uh, individuals that opportunity to play and sing. Very good. What is it about live performance and live events that you feel is so vital for your community? Uh, well, I, I think having that, that, that event where – I play music and I play music and I play probably over a hundred shows all around from casinos to downtown Jonesboro to out on the corner. Uh -huh. uh, but you know, when, if you're a musician or, or an actor or somebody, you always want that bigger stage. You always want that, that really uh, to that next level. And I think, uh, you should see the people that we we invite up on stage and give them this opportunity. And, and they, we've got a, a technician that actually, do, does their minds. We got a lighting guy that gives them the lighting uh -huh. and, and to go through that whole process is, uh, I think it's, you know, it's a, it's a bucket list for some people. Oh, for sure. You know? For sure. Let's go back and talk a little bit. I'm, I'm curious about, it. I really like this career change because I did the same thing. Um, how did you convince the wife? What was your selling point for her? Well, I'll tell you this. She hates it when I say this, but you know, I told her, I said, well, everything I touch, I want to love. Uh, uh, and I, I'm, I don't re recommend this for everybody, so I don't want people to go out and spend their savings. But I looked at my 401k, and I thought, let's pay off everything that's major. 
all all our car notes. Let's pay it where we're almost debt free. All we have is a house payment. Uh, let's get ourselves in a position where it's a semi retiring early while we're still young type of feel. Sure. Yep. Uh, now I can go work almost anywhere and still meet my bills, you know. So uh, I cashed in on that, and that's how I really, I, you know, and I tell her, and I'm urging her to do the same thing. She's doing things now she's always done, but she has dreams and aspirations like everyone else. And I was like, honey, do it. Dip it. I, I, I really believe, if, if, for example, if you was to say to yourself, I want to learn how to play the piano. I really want to learn that. And if you watch, if you just start thinking that, but if you start listening and looking around you, you're going to see either yeah. it's a free piano lessons offered on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at the Foundation of Art. You're going to see opportunities. And for you, you've got to be willing to make that first step and surprise yourself. And, you know, take advantage of the things that you're actually wanting. Do you actually want it? Or something like, yeah, if you care to do it. But if it's something that you're really passionate about and you think would bring you happiness and make you have a better life and it feels like you're living, then I urge people, take that little step. I think if you take that little step, you're going to surprise yourself. You're going to find a great happiness with it and overall a better life. Michael, we call that investing in yourself, and you can never go wrong when you invest in yourself. That's fantastic. All right, let's have some fun for a second. This one is, I'm really intrigued to ask you. This is one of my standard funny questions. What was your favorite cartoon as a kid and why? Okay, I would have to say my favorite cartoon. Oh, well, what age, kid? What age? Uh, let's say uh, five to eight. Five to eight. Well, I was big on... The Looney Tunes. I was big on Bugs Bunny. Uh, I, I really loved the uh, the opera one when he makes the guy sing and all those yep, notes yep. on the you know. He, and then I, I was a big He Man when He Man came out. I was a big. I, I liked Masters of the Universe. Um, them two that stick out most. Of okay. Them, yeah. All right. Very good. Very good. What's the best concert or the best live theatrical production you've ever seen in your life? Oh, okay. Well, that's tough. I actually seen, but. Uh, Bob Dylan, which was he's was spectacular. Tom Petty always delivered on every one of his shows. It yep. sounded just like the album. Um, Ozzy Osbourne was just as crazy as he always was, and yeah, I mean he was. <laughs> you gotta like, pick one. We gotta make this hard. You gotta pick one. Okay, all right. The one, the one, the one. Uh, I'd have to say Guns N' Roses. Use your illusion. There you go. Very good. Okay, next question. Dead or alive, you could bring one act. There to the Forum Theater, who would you bring, dead or alive? Oh, I had to probably say Nirvana. Nirvana. Wow, you're the first one to say that, but I I can see it. Yep, that's fantastic. That's a great idea. Yeah, and I, th I think, I think, and the reason I say that on the business aspect point of it would be it's young and old. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I could get everybody. Oh, that's love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Michael, thank you so much for being on with us today. And really, thank you for uh, sharing your courage and your bravery to just invest in yourself, do something that you love. I love how you phrased it. Everything you touch, you want to be able to love. And that's uh, that's a fantastic way of, of looking at it. So thank you so much for being on with us. Yes, thank you, sir. Well, baby,